I recently had the absolute pleasure of working with Youthful Minds, a group of young people with lived experience of mental illness in Jersey who are supported by Jersey Mind to educate others about mental illness. I asked them what four things they wished every teacher knew about mental health and here's what they had to say. I think it's important to recognise that as students we do have lives outside of school and the lesson with Saturn at that moment might not be our priority and we're probably just as frustrated as you at if we can't make a lesson or if we don't make school in the day. So if like you recognise the pattern, if there's a student that's consistently late or consistently doesn't have their homework and there's like two ways to go about it, you can call them out as they walk in, go you're late, where have you been? And that's really shutting them down straight away. Or you can invite them in, get them to sit down, cause less disruption to your lesson and ask them at the end or go and get them to chat to like, are you actually okay? What's um, I think that teachers should have the opportunity to be like trained and educated with mental health, particularly something like mental health first aid, particularly because they're going to be around young people a lot and everyone has mental health. And not only will it help their students, but it can help someone that they know and just like how to help them, how to support them, just educate themselves and mental health in general. So, yeah, if a student doesn't hand in the homework the next day or if it's they're late handing it in, then don't necessarily go up to them and give them a detention or give them like some withdraw them because if you do that you're not going to find out the reason why and because they could have been struggling the night before and fighting for their lives inside their own heads about whether they want to be alive or not anymore so it's really important that you do sort of take into consideration their reasons behind not handing in their homework rather than punishing them for not handing it in. I hope that gave you some food for thought. I would love to hear in the comments what you found helpful and what you'd like to know more about. Don't forget to subscribe for new mental health videos every Tuesday and Friday. Thanks for watching.